Got a huge party going on here. <laughs> party on the sea. Whoa, who's that dude? Second try. Well, that was something. Not really sure what all of that meant, but uh, hey! Hey everyone, my name is Wellens, and today we're back with The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. I really enjoyed The Witcher 1 already, so I'm pretty excited to see what The Witcher 2 will bring to the table. So as I know it, The Witcher 2 was made in 2012, which is a whole five years since The Witcher 1. We're back into the modern era here, yay! It's not a 10-year-old game anymore. And to me, I feel like 2012, that's basically, yeah, that's basically a modern game. So I didn't add any mods. I actually didn't really research too much into if it's needed, but uh, we'll just go and see how it is first. If there's anything that's really annoying, then maybe we'll think about it later. But so far, I have faith in 2012. I believe we'll be okay. Story-wise, I didn't even look up where the plot for this starts, but I'm gonna guess it's pretty close to the ending of The Witcher 1. So one thing that I was thinking about after The Witcher 1 ended was that uh, we initially... Our whole quest was about setting off to find the secrets of Kaer Morhen. So by the end, Geralt found the secrets, but we didn't see any scene with, you know, him meeting all the other witchers again, being like, Hey guys, I found the secrets! So I wonder if that's just something that's gonna happen off screen, or if we're gonna continue off somewhere along those lines, or whatnot. One thing that is obvious is that we started off with an assassination of somebody important. It's not even like we ended off The Witcher 1 at a position where all the politics stuff was really stable. So with the death of a king, that's probably going to lead to even more of an instability here, isn't it? 
yeah, I really got nothing else, so I think we should begin. And you know what? When I first started playing The Witcher 1, I didn't know that we could import the save into 2. I was just playing it to have some story continuity, so this is really nice. It's like a bonus for me. Mm -hmm. Guess we can just get going here. Do I want to begin the tutorial? Probably. Okay. We can start off like this. Oh my god. People, we're back in the modern era now. Tutorials. Opening a tutorial panel will pause the game so that you can read its content at your leisure. Hints can also be found outside the tutorial panels. When you initiate a new quest, the text beneath the minimap on the right of the screen will tell you what to do. Okay. Cool. Cool. Tab. There we go. Camera and controls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rotate the camera, control using WASD. I am on the keyboard and mouse today. You can also toggle between running and walking. Good to know. Okay. Damned leaky boat. My boots are soaked. Yet another boggy shithole. Whoa, look at everything. Everything is like not it's not 2007 anymore. This is awesome. Look at the lighting effects and stuff. Alright. Picking up loot. Stand near a container and click on it to bring up a list of its contents. And then select everything you want to take, or just press space to pick up everything. Okay. Oh, approach containers to bring up a window displaying the four most valuable items inside. Okay, cool. Follow the path towards the town with the arena. There's a dead body here. Okay, hold up. The, the mouse sensitivity is a little bit high. Let me just take a quick second here to adjust that. Maybe a little bit lower here. Like that. Are we good? I think so. Okay. Tournament announcement. Squire boots. Orins. Okay. Inventory. Open the inventory panel to browse through the items Geralt has acquired. Some items may be equipped, facilitating their use. Enter? Okay. Sort items by category to browse through them more efficiently. To remove an item from the inventory, drag the item to the drop item icon, or press the applicable key. Delete. Oh, it's actually making a really good use of a lot of keyboard keys here. That's really nice to see. Because sometimes I find that games like to cheap out on the... the customizability of keys when they support controllers. <laughs> Alright. Read the notes and replace your wet boots with the dry ones from the dead guy. Okay. Ooh, whoa, look at this fancy screen we got here. Okay. So what am I looking at here? Hold on. Is this area my... I'm just trying to... I guess that's the only thing I have right now, so I'll replace it. Okay, soaked boots. Can I just drop it or... Oh, it's worth one Orin though. Wait! Wait! Oh, do we have weight? <gasps> oh, we have weight requirements here! Oh, that... Oh, I gotta be careful about what I pick up then. As if I didn't already have enough of a inventory problem in The Witcher 1, huh? Okay. Tournament announcement. Book, quest, item. How do I read it? How do I read it? Oh, okay. Tournament in the Grand Arena. Warriors of the world, knights, gladiators, soldiers, and armed ladies. The Grand Arena, famous throughout the North as the site of the ultimate combat trials, opens its gates before you. Demonstrate your courage and sword skills. Claim the glory and the coin due to true heroes. Those acknowledged as worthy of the tournament will receive an invitation enabling them to enter the Grand Arena and win eternal fame. So the guy died before he even got there? That's kind of sad. <laughs> okay. But do I, do I want to go? Money? Coin? I only have 100 orins on me right now, so that might be something I'm interested in, huh? I have a silver sword. Okay. I have a long sword. Alright. I thought I imported my save, but oh, maybe it's because we're in the tutorial right now. Okay. Leather jacket. Same as last time. Drop item, like a little thingy here. Hold on though. I'm not quite understanding how this... Oh, okay. So there's... I didn't see that there's like a... It's like a bullet list here. We roll over the item. Okay, cool. It's a little bit different from the, the icon-based inventory we had before. 
Holy crap. Formula for a healing brew? Like a potion? Can I read this? No. Okay, well, cool. I think we got all there is to do for now. Wow, we can even sort them. Hmm. Cool. Journal update! Open it to view a full description of the quest. You can track it by marking it in your journal. Follow the path through the forest, step by step. You have asked me to tell you of Geralt's feats in the arena, yet I recall another adventure, a brief one, that took place just before the Witcher reached the town, where he would gain everlasting glory. It all began with a leaky boat, soaked boots, and a bad mood. What a dreary place it was, a gloomy forest, a deserted muddy path, and the terrifying cries of necrophages feasting on a corpse. The penniless local peasants had shut the doors of their huts, and only a single voice could be heard. It was the voice of a man in the throes of death. Wait, who is this? You have asked me to tell you about Geralt's feats? Is this Dandelion? I think I heard that Dandelion is the narrator for The Witcher 2, so that might be it. Okay, cool. Oh, we gained eternal fame here. Hmm. Follow the path through the forest. Yes, a short hint can be found under the mini-map. Okay, gotcha. Whoa, we even have field of view on the map here, the mini-map. This is fancy stuff. <laughs> it's also really scary sounding here. What's going on? Should I have my sword out? No, well, it's just one path. Okay, let's keep going. Does the thing want to disappear or... Ooh. <coughs> Wounded Knight. Bolton of Ironford. Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Will you let me look at your wounds? Odd. You don't resemble a traveling preacher. Oh, damn the dogs, it hurts to talk. I wager my arm is the only thing keeping me in one piece. I'll find some help. Futile, I'm afraid. Around here, folk don't open their doors to strangers. You would do well to find my squire. Uh... I'd like to thrash his hide for fleeing from those corpse eaters. Consider it my final wish. I found his body by the river. Listen, let me brew you a health potion. You're no witcher, so it could kill you. But if I'm <laughs> not mistaken, you already think you're dead. There's a slim chance that your body will quell the toxins and regenerate. I'll expire in this hole before I let someone turn me into a mutant. That's not how it works. Stay calm and lie still. I need to find some herbs. Quest tracking. You have begun a new quest phase. Your objective is marked on the mini-map on the upper right corner of the screen. The yellow marker indicates your current objective. Da -da -da -da. I think I got it. All right, cool. You want me to make a... You want me to find the plants to make the potion. <coughs> Seems like we're going this way. What the hell kind of place are we in right now? Which was medallion? Use the medallion to detect nearby containers, herbs, monsters, places of power, and threats. Once used, a medallion must recharge. Okay. For how long? Here? Celandine. Ah, so we still got the basic items, the same items that we've seen before. Rayonia. Don't I have to learn about this from a book first? No? Thank god. White Myrtle Petals! Something here as well? Ooh, Slerodurm? Alchemy. To prepare a potion, bomb, or blade oil, you must have both the formula detailing its composition as well as the ingredients containing the substances listed in the formula. Mixtures can only be prepared while meditating. Okay. Yes, meditating. <laughs> We're not getting rid of that. Formula and ingredients can be bought from shopkeepers or various locations. Can also be harvested from plants or carved from monster corpses. Huh. Do we still have to get the bestiary entry? We'll find out later. Quick menu. Are we just gonna meditate in the middle of nowhere? Do we want to at least stand by the guy first? Because I don't really want to meditate in the creepy forest. Oh, Ard, Yurden, Igni, Quen, Axie. Still got all of them. 
Meditation. Oh, this is a big game changer, man. We don't have to find a fireplace anymore. Because I realize that I can just kneel down wherever I want. <laughs> Character. Alchemy. Drink potions. Meditate. Alchemy. We have a healing brew. Can we... Are we... Do we have the formula right now already? Or... I guess so. Fulgur? Are these like... Types? Yeah, I think so. The types. Okay. So I think we already have the ingredients, so yeah. Okay. Cool. Then... Do we have to... Meditate for a certain amount of time, or just kneeling here is okay? What's character? Oh, I can't click on it right now, because it wants me to do it in a certain way. Fair enough. Knock back this potion. Try not to vomit. Drink it. You're still alive, so that bodes well. But you've got a ways to go before you're at full health. Now you have to sit and wait. You're no mutant, so it'll be a couple of days before you recover and we can get you out of here. Thank you, Witcher. Oh, hello, Creeve. Didn't have the chance earlier. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Bolton of Ironfoot. I wanted to try my luck in the arena, but some corpse eaters surprised me. My horse reared and I came crashing down in full armor. They pounced upon me with their claws. Though broken, I managed to drive them off and crawl here. Pitiful story, but there it is. Hmm. That could mean some paid work for me. <laughs> Doubtful. If the corpses weren't eaten, they would rot, emit a stench, and breed pestilence. Oh, damn the dogs! Those who fall in the arena, their bodies are cast into the ravine. The dead offer little in terms of diversion, I'm afraid. Except perhaps to monsters. Okay. So it seems like Geralt doesn't read this line anymore. Okay. Get well, I've gotta go. Get well, Bolton of Ironford. Oh, what? And farewell. You must take my invitation. If but half of what I've heard about witches is true, you ought to manage well in the arena. Thanks, Bolton. I thank you. And now, Geralt of Rivia, if you've no objection, I would finally like to get some sleep. I just can't- I still can't get over how beautiful this is right now. I would be okay if, like, all video game graphics were just stuff like this. This is great! Just going from The Witcher 1 and 2, it's such a stark difference. Anyway, you have now an invitation to the arena located in the town. Go there and take part of this tournament. Can we go in here? We don't want no trouble. On your way. Be gone. Wow. We're going over for strangers around here. Not even a wounded person right here. Damn. All right. I'm guessing you don't open either. You don't even want to open. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm getting a little dizzy here. Who stalks the night? Be gone, cursed soul, or I'll stick the hounds on ya! Got corpse eaters on this side, so I'll take your hounds any day. A jester, eh? You're all jesters. You all think you're droll till you enter the arena. No room for joking around in there! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm soaked and I'm freezing. Let me in. Ah! A vampire! I'll not let a bloodsucker in. Oh, no! I've got eels in garlic here. What do you say to that? I'll gladly submit to the eels and garlic trial, and the running water trial, and the beer trial. <laughs> Who knows what you are? Evil crawls the night, corrupting the righteous. I'll wait for morn for the cock to crow. If the rising sun don't scare you off, I'll let you in. You want me to wait here? You there. All right. Let's find a place to rest. What? Oh, come on. Now I gotta... Oh, okay, so meditation still turns the time here. Okay. Cool. Oh, control. Meditate until dawn, right outside their gates. Be all passive-aggressive about it. How do I change the time? Oh, meditate. Oh, I still can't look at the other stuff. Dawn is fine. Dawn is fine. 
Yeah. Select or um here. How now, people? It's Dawn. You gotta let me in. It doesn't look like Dawn. Still there, foul soul! Yeah, I'm still here. And the cock has crowed. As far as being foul, well, I may smell a bit. Has it got an invitation? It has. Then it may enter. Good luck to it in the arena. Rude. I have feelings too, you know. I'm not a it. Whoa. Combat training. Welcome to Witcher training. This section of the tutorial is designed to acquaint you with the combat basics. Okay, draw my steel sword with one. Draw my silver sword with two. Use the same key to sheath your sword. I'm used to Q and E from The Witcher 1, so this is gonna take some time. One and two in The Witcher 1 was, um, it was assigned. Okay, so we gotta, gotta get used to everything again. Steel. Rotate the camera towards the opponent. Alt. Focus on a chosen foe and mark him. Okay. Do we still gotta do some crazy timing click thing? Skinny guy? Uh... I am pressing Alt right now, but nothing is going on. There we go. It's not much of an indication though. Press that to mount a fast attack. Okay, strong attack. Oh, the indicator is on the guy's body. Fast and strong attacks. So I'll just pick a random dude. Okay, cool. Whoa! Whoa, this arena is open. Parrying, dodging, and reposts. Slow opponents mount strong attacks, while swift opponents mount weaker but more frequent attacks. Fighting either requires dodging and parrying. Keep in mind that parrying only reduces the damage Geralt receives, rather than eliminating it completely. Okay. You cannot parry magic attacks. Dodge them or cast signs to protect yourself from them. Hmm. So it seems like the new system here is not nearly as time-based, which means I can go back to just click 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 click, and we should be able to beat him. <laughs> Vigor, represented by the yellow bar in the upper left corner, drops every time you use or you parry an opponent's strike or cast a sign. Low vigor will prevent you from casting signs, though it will not limit your ability to parry. It regenerates over time, drink potions to accelerate, affects the damage you deal to foes. While developing your character, you can increase the maximum vigor points available to your character. Okay, all right. Am I casting signs yet? Parrying? Just before he strikes. How early? Can I do it like really, really, really early? Press space to evade enemy blows. Okay. Ooh. Okay, how early can I parry? Oh, pretty early. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Repost. Counter your opponent's attack with a repost. To repost, hold down the parry key and attack while the repost marker appears on your foe. Ooh, so it's still kind of timing based. Outside of the tutorial, to repost, you must first acquire the related ability in the character development tree. Okay. Parry and attack. Parry and attack. Ah. Art sign. Each time you cast a sign, you lose one point of vigor. The art sign can knock down or stun your foe, allowing you to finish him off with a single blow. Use the R to weaken opponents equipped with shields. Five. Oh, I think it might just be easier for me to remap it to be like The Witcher 1, but we'll see how it goes first. Five. Okay. Ow! Oh, I can also use Q. Critical effects. In addition to dealing regular damage, Geralt and his foes can inflict critical effects in combat. These additional effects induced by attacks remain active for a certain time. 
the stun and knockdown effects allow Geralt to finish off opponents instantly. Some foes are immune to selected effects. Look at the top of the screen to see the effects dealt to Geralt. You have stunned your foe. Woo! Finishing screens! Oh my goodness. Okay. But we haven't uh, seen the effects yet, have we? <laughs> Quick menu. Okay. I can select the signs while scrolling through the sign list. Three. I'm trying to like... At him for the ring of Whoa. The mage has dealt the incineration critical effect to Geralt. I'll take additional damage. Both positive and negative effects remain active for a specific time. Effect duration is displayed at the top of the screen. Okay. Okay, these are pretty self-explanatory, except for maybe blinding. Maybe that lowers my accuracy? Ow! Hold on! <laughs> Hold on! Low vitality! The mage has dealt significant damage with his spells. Your vitality is dangerously low. Focus on defense and cast a Quen sign to reduce the damage dealt to you by the foes. Can I open the quick cast? Oh my god. Okay. Yes. Absorbs damage dealt by your foes to be reflected. Only if you have the ability. But it also halts vigor regeneration. Okay, what is the Quen sign? Can I please get out of here first? Eight? Oh, that's... Okay, I gotta remap that for sure, because eight is too far on the keyboard. Careful. He defeated the king's guards. Am I being shielded right now? I think so. I cast it. Yeah, the quick cast. This might be easier, because otherwise... Eight is too damn far on the keyboard. Oh, there's another guy! Axie. Allows you to assume temporary control of your foes. Okay. Holy god, people. How many more Nine. Axie. This is about time where I actually have to learn the signs, because I don't think I really remembered, even while playing the entire The Witcher 1. Hold on. The ring of gold in your pouch. I'm trying to cast it right now, but I don't think I'm doing it right. Axie. Nine? Did I get it? I don't think so. Oh, I gotta keep holding it. Oh, there we go. I gotta hold it for a long time. Yurden? Magical trap. I gotta have a way to remember all of this. Holy crap. Press six. Press six. Or I could just come here. And then, if I do this, do I press like E or something? Or what was the button that I used to cast a sign once I have it? Yeah, once I select it here, how do I cast it? Gurdon. I'm gonna have to figure that out later, but I'll do six for now. Come over here. Hmm. Igni? Oh! Too close. Retrieve all the items from the chest in the arena. Quick slot items. To place an item in a quick slot, open the inventory and drag the selected items like bombs, traps, daggers, and lures into the quick slots located in the upper right corner of the panel. Okay. Yup. If I want to take... Or, um, do I want to? Where do I... Maybe I gotta do it in my inventory? Place the bombs, traps, and daggers in your quick slots. Is that it? Pockets? Bomb? Trap? Weapon. Scroll through quick slot items to select bombs, traps, lures, daggers. Yeah, you can also select it from the quick menu. So I can do four here. Select the bombs from the quick slots and use them to defeat your foes. R to cast a bomb. Okay.
This one's the bomb, right? Samum? R. Here we go. Oh. Do I have to kill them just with the bomb? Is that what you want? Here we go. Select the traps. Traps would be this one. No limit on the number of traps you can place. Okay. Did you walk over there? Right over here? Oh, did it not work or... No, on the- on the combat log in the bottom corner. It says Geralt set a trap. Oh, it's the line! There's lines! There we go! I thought it was just a weird little thing. Oh! Gotta be careful though, because I can get attacked too. Select the daggers. Okay, press and hold R to aim precisely. Ooh, there's a lot of little keys this time. I gotta like, really learn all of this. Ah, I gotta- I forgot how to roll and dodge already. Yeah! Did I get him? I think I did. Nope. I gotta like, aim while this guy's not trying to kill me. Aim for his head. There we go. Oh. Once more. Oh, come on. How did that one miss? Oh! Are we good? Character development. Over the first six levels, you will only be able to unlock abilities from the training path. As you acquire more talent, you will be able to spend them on abilities from the three remaining paths. Magic, alchemy, swordsmanship. Your character has advanced to the next level. Open the character development panel to acquire new abilities. Oh, and we can do that whenever we want? At higher difficulty settings, character development is only possible while meditating. But meditating, you can do that anywhere, right? So this is not a big problem anyway. Okay. Mutagens can be used to modify some of Geralt's abilities. To use a mutagen, go to the character development panel and find an ability with a mutagen slot on the training path. Place a mutagen in the slot to upgrade that ability. Search the corpses of slain monsters to find more mutagens. Okay. So you want me to spend all my points on the training path. Ooh, it's all jiggly and stuff. What the heck? Okay, one talent. One talent. Can I get any of these? Ooh, ability to redirect arrows. Whoa. Vigor regeneration. Ability to parry blows from all directions. Yeah, why not? Can I get this? Does this even matter? Because we're in the tutorial here, right? Okay. Do I have more? I thought I only had one. Yeah, I have zero talents. Did you want me to do anything else or... Spend all your... Available talents on the path. Maybe there's mutagens here? Hold on. Can I get that back? No, I can't get the trap back, apparently. Well, there's gotta be more that we can spend that I haven't done yet. What do you want me to do, though? Mutate? Mutate? Mutate ability. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but okay. Sure. That must be from a mutagen. Is that it? No? There's still more? Oh, that's it. Final trial awaits. Make sure to prepare as you're about to face three waves of opponents. Before the trial begins, explore the chest in the arena and use the items you find there. Remember to drink some potions and coat your blades with oils. 
Also, fill your quick slots with the items you deem most useful. Okay. Begin the trial anytime by stepping into the highlighted circle. Okay. The number of foes you defeat during this trial will determine your recommended difficulty setting. Oh, that's kind of cool. Except, if you give me easy, I'm probably still not gonna play on easy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Marbor Forest, a lot of familiar names here. Let's take all of it. Yes, okay. Oh, there's a lot of pop-ups. <laughs> so much to learn, okay. Yes, requires some preparations. Begin by drinking several potions. Mm -hmm. Each potion you consume increases your toxicity. The maximum toxicity level limits the amount of potions you can drink. Okay, I think I got it. When you're ready, go into the circle, but I am not ready yet. Not ready yet. That circle, right? I'm gonna have to put this stuff on my quick slots again. What do we got here? We got the dagger, sure. A bomb, grape shot, wounds all within range with shrapnel, sure, get here. This as well, traps, slows foes down, freeze, Conflagrat conflagration, okay, incinerates foes and detonates other traps within range, put it all in here, sword upgrade, okay, oil for humans, oil for insects. Do I want to put both of them on? We also have the Swallow Potion here, and the Marabore Forest. Significantly increases vigor while reducing vitality, and chance of causing critical effects. Uh, I don't think we need that for now. I don't really like anything that reduces my vitality, cause I'm not that good, man. <laughs> swallow Potion? Should we have one right now? Oh, they can only be consumed while meditating. Ah, okay, so... Oh, it's a little bit different this time. I guess this might be closer to the books because you have to prepare before you start fighting. You can't just start drinking a potion in the middle of fighting. Okay, okay, I got you. But we can probably use these on the sword right now, right? So steel sword for humans. Do I want to use the insect one for my silver sword? Probably. Okay. Sure, and now we will meditate for the Swallow Potion. Oh, there's a timer at the very top there. You see that? Okay. Meditate. So we gotta hurry this up if we wanna... if we want the potions to count. Swallow Potion. Ah, and that's my toxicity level. Duration 10. 10 minutes. Toxicity. Vitality regeneration during combat plus one. Okay, sounds good. Our timer's ticking down though, so we should probably hurry up. Yeah, get up. Uh, hold on though. Before we start, can't we just put some traps on the ground first, just to make it easier for me? I mean, why not, right? Feels like that should work. Yeah. So, how do I... Yeah, like this. Oh, it's wasting time from my potions a little bit, but I think we can we can probably spare it. Yeah, 10 minutes. If we have the traps, I feel like we should use them, just in case. Is that gonna be enough? What about the other one? Conflagration? Ooh, this one looks dangerous. I should probably remember that they can hit me too, though, so I shouldn't... Yeah, maybe this is a bad idea. Who knows? Anything else I gotta do to prepare? My signs? Oh god, I kind of forgot what they are already. Igni. Yeah. Ard? Yurden? What's Yurden again? <laughs> Axie is the one with the, the trap on the ground. Quen is the... the shield? What was Yurden? Oh, the stuff attack other people? I think so? Well, we probably can't rely on Igni anymore because it's not OP here, no. Let's let's go with Ard for now. Yeah, okay. Are we ready? I think so. Well, steel sword out. Let's go. 
I feel like I forgot like all the buttons already, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Come on! We got one guy. Is that it? Nope. One more guy here. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's going nuts with all the attacking. He's parrying me. Can I stun him? Come on. Whoa! Ooh, this guy has a shield, so we probably need to use the art on him. But can you just walk into the trap, please? Yeah, that's good. Oh! Oh, how do I do repost again? Parry? Hit me. Oh! Nope. More and more people are spawning. You should be careful. Oh, I missed my repost there. Ah! Feel like I'm freaking out. Our health is pretty damn low right now. Yeah, my traps aren't really getting used. Does that guy want to like come over and... Well, okay, we, we gotta hurry up. Because more and more people respawn every time we wait. That's not good. Oh, you're a... You're a monster. I should probably be using something else against you. Hold on. Hold up. There's too many... There's too many buttons for my fingers to manage right now, man. Hold on. Let's try Samum. Oh! Hey, we got it. Even though... We weren't using the right sword. Holy! Oh, there's too much stuff going on here. What the hell? Oh, I missed completely. How about... Oh! Oh, I'm dead! Oh! Oh, okay, well... Recommended difficulty setting normal? Sounds about right. I'll take it. Let's just move on. <laughs> Oh! Wow, that's, um... Combat definitely feels a bit more challenging this time. 